Well, howdy, 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 nearly senior citizen here. Greetings, boys and girls, and welcome to this. Me being slightly irate that I'm having to smoke a joint. These things are a pain. They're smoky. They run wrong. It's, it's, they're just a pain. But I've been sleeping in my chair uh, roughly since, uh, oh, it's still, it's not centered. Since approximately uh, six o'clock last night, on and off, you know, still sitting in my chair even if I wasn't sleeping, my back is killing me. The only thing that'll help right now, cannabis. And while I would love to do a sort of cannabis review uh, series, because I have all sorts of uh, joints that I could cover, like this Panda Glue by Fat Panda and uh, Hot Sugar Sticky Glue. Sticky Glue? Yep. It's really cool. Very tasty stuff, but the problem is because my sinuses are always clogged, I rarely can smell anything. My sinuses barely work at all. They barely work to get um, oxygen in and I can barely smell a thing. And so, you know, and your sense of smell is 90% of your sense of taste. And especially with my sinuses the way they are, and now with these dentures, my sense of taste is not limited to my scent on my tongue. In fact, it's like a uh, my uh, taste buds instead seem to have been scattershot throughout my entire mouth and appear to be largely like on the roof of my mouth and around my gum lines because now that my teeth are gone and I got these in I can't taste a thing I can drink I like a glass of chocolate milk or strawberry milk and as long as the seal does not get broken on these things, they just rush over my, the, the dentures and my tongue. Like if I drink strawberry milk, I can taste cold, thick, wet, a faint taste of like sweet, and that's it. But if the seal gets broken and it goes between my dentures and my gum line, Oh my God, it's an explosion of flavor. Suddenly I can taste, it's like that strawberry. Oh my God, it's sweet, it's horribly sweet. But until it gets between my dentures and my gum lines, it's wet, it's cold, and that's about it. Food is like eating styrofoam. It's textured styrofoam. There's no taste to anything. I always had troubles eating beforehand because I don't like to eat. Now I get zero fun out of eating. I can't taste a damn thing. It's all like just eating blocks of tasteless styrofoam. Now I spilled this ash all down my front. That's special. As in not special in the slightest. Ugh. Well, special as in special ed like having to wear a helmet and riding the short bus I'm gonna this is just a mess it's it's horrible I got cigarette ash all down my front it's not even cigarette ash you know it's joint ash but it's still it's ash what a mess Ugh. so as soon as I'm done with this I gotta stand up and brush my shirt off But because my sense of taste is extremely unreliable, I can't taste what stuff reliably tastes like. And when it comes to pot products, that's really important because taste is incredible. And like this, I'm quite sure it, it probably, I don't know what, even know what it tastes like. It tastes like generic joint to me. There's a generic um, pot taste and joints have that generic pot taste. Doesn't matter what it is, to me they just all taste like pot. Nothing good, nothing bad, nothing special. When my friends have said, this sucks, uh, and they can't even finish them because they're gonna puke, I'm like, oh. 
and I can smoke it. And when they've got good stuff that's absolutely wonderful, and I'm like, oh, that doesn't really taste all that good because there's nothing for me to taste. I can't taste it up here. I can't smell anything. I can't taste anything. So as much as I may want to do some sort of a cannabis type reviews, I can't even review taste and flavors or smells because I can't taste or smell 90% of everything. I mean, even when we have oils, I can have a hit of one cannabis oil and on the one hit it'll be terrible I mean I'll, it'll just be like the worst stuff ever and I'll be coughing and hacking and just going this stuff tastes awful what is this and they'll go this is some of the best stuff we had you really liked it last time and I was like oh huh and other times I'll be going, damn, this stuff tastes good. What is that? And then they're like, this is the most terrible stuff we had. This stuff tastes bad. It's like BHO and, and rot. And right then it's like I'm going, wow, that tastes really good. It was so smooth and everybody else is dying around me. And the previous hit I had, I was coughing and hacking and dying and going, I taste like I just dabbed a dead rat. So I, I'm, I'd love to do a cannabis review. But even talking about getting high, I don't get high, which doesn't bother me. <coughs> <coughs> what I get is pain control, and that's awesome, but a lot of people smoke for not that reason. I mean, I get a little bit out of it. I don't get high or stoned, but I do feel happy. I go from depressed to normal, or I go from normal to, hey, I'm a little happy because it's a natural antidepressant. And I get that, but I was on, before I even took my first toke of this stuff for after 30 some odd years, I'd been on 45 milligrams of uh, methadone and there's all this other stuff. My tolerance for anything is sky high. I mean, it takes like eight dabs of 90% THC before I get high. And even then, the only reason you can tell I'm high is every once in a while I have trouble speaking. Past that, I don't really feel horribly stoned. I just feel, wow, I don't hurt. And I'm actually feeling pleasant. But I don't appreciate music or any of those things that are usually associated with marijuana because my tolerance is sky high. It's very disturbing and bothersome to me. My friends are coming by today, semi-early, but not too early. Last night before my friend left work, she gave me a text and was saying that about 10-ish, she's setting an alarm for it because it's supposed to be really cold today. And we're gonna go hiking. We're gonna go up around, if you know this area, we're gonna go hiking around Cushman Lake and it's gonna be fun. So that's gonna be exciting. We're gonna go hiking and, well, unless things fall apart. I mean, they could easily fall apart. I mean, especially since today's the day that we're supposed to uh, get called by the rental company. Find out. So who knows? I mean, she could feel bad, I could feel bad, he could feel bad. Hard to say. Plan is for us to go uh, hiking. And even when we plan to go places and we go hiking, when we get to where we originally plan on, we usually never decide to go there anyway. So it's, it's hard to say what's gonna happen. I'll we'll probably end up being depressed here today. But it's, that's hard to say. Well, what I'm gonna do now is I want to show you one of my other hamsters, but this is taking quite some time to finish this. So what I'm going to do is call up my community page and thank 20 to 25 people. Because I like to show my thanks to all of my commenters and subscribers. I used to thank. Every time I picked up 100 subscribers, I go through and thank those 100 subscribers. Up until I got 2,000 some odd uh, 
people, then there were too many. It started, I started growing too quickly. I could not keep up with that. And I'm sorry, I feel bad about that because I enjoyed doing it. So what I do now is I thank 20 to 25 people, just at random. I don't think you need to have a contest for shout outs out of this. No contest for simple human recognition and contact. So as soon as I do this other hit, I'm gonna start through and uh, thanking 20 to 25 people. I'm going to put that there, and then I'm going to smash it with this. Smash, 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 smash. Because I don't want it to burn things up. Yep, I just killed the dog end. Isn't that terrible? So, AK South, thank you so very, very much. Greatly appreciated. John John, thank you so very much. Now, I... Good comment, bad comment, indifferent comment, I do not know. I'm only thanking you for leaving a comment. I'm not reading the comments yet. I will be reading them afterward, but right now I'm just thanking the people. Unless my eyes get dragged down into the comment, which happens, but I, that's not something I'm planning on doing. So, uh, Ezekiel Marlowe, thank you so very much for the comment. Jack Price, thank you. Greatly appreciated. And uh, Joshua Dawson, thank you so very much. And I'm not your Uber. <laughs> Thumbs up on that. I like your guys' usernames a lot. They're very cool. Like Derpy the Goose. <laughs> Thank you so very much. Savior2356. Thank you very, very much. Uh, the Real Joshua. How about that? Greatly appreciated. Uh, Aaron Yu. Thank you. Y-E-U. Greatly appreciated. Uh, Victor Christensen. Thank you very, very much. And Keith Morris, thank you. Uh, I tried all that. I, I remembered this because I read your comment last night. Actually, yours here. It just popped up again because it's edited. Where I'd, uh, I've gone through the event viewer and the system logs. I use the uh, computer management a lot because of my external hard drives. Uh, and I got the system logs. There's so many things. And But the thing that makes me feel better about all that, though, I got to keep doing that is um, when I re when I go back and watch the video, there's no pause. I When I'm recording and watching myself, I go like this all the time. I'm like, heh, eh, and then it's heh, eh. And so that's why I'm going, oh my gosh, because I'm like, heh, eh, eh, and then it continues. But when I watch it on the uh, actual video itself, there's no pausing. So I, I don't know what's happening, but I'm glad, but thank you very much. So. And Schmacks, thank you, greatly appreciated. Tech Savage, thank you very much. Uh, Only Skin gets another shout out, thank you. And Justina Aquavita Metz, thank you very, very much. Greatly appreciated. Always good to see your name in the uh, in the comments. Greatly, greatly appreciated. And Mika Mach 5, thank you. You're in the comments too, thank you. And Tuna 1989, thank you very much a YouTube channel. That's a good one. Thumbs up. Thank you. Uh, Alif Naufal. A-L-I-F N-A-U-F-A-L I'm terrible at names. Thank you so very much. And Gabe the Dog. <laughs> thank you very much. Uh, Nicholas Koneman. Thank you. And Toki Wartooth. Thank you very, very much. Oh, Gatam Videos 2. G-H-A-T-T-E-M-M. -M. And then, uh, Ciro. C-I-R-O. Thank you so very, very much for the comments. Greatly appreciated indeed. Now I am 13 minutes and 58 seconds into this. My shirt's still covered in ash. That's just so frustrating. Now I want to show you a little hammy. I know, I show you hammies all the time. This is one of my older little girls. I have her now in an upper cage, but she's one of my older ones. I usually have her in a cage so that she doesn't get bothered. You know, I don't want to stress her out, but we clean the cages and right now the cages are out of order. So usually she's down below where, you know, she doesn't get bothered, but right now she was up above and since she's one of my, she's got different fur, can you see? It's kind of longer. All the others have shorter fur. She has not long fur, but just longer. 
it's she's not a real long hair but she's longer hair and she's a really nice little hammy she's a sweetheart but I just keep her you know usually so that she doesn't get bothered because she's a sweetheart and she's older and I don't want to stress her out and and have bad things happen to her but she's back into the cage now <coughs> I still haven't had time to go through and redo my list of morning readings, so I'm going to say just a couple off the top of my head that I can remember, remember with my herbiderbiter, with my fibromyalgia and my fibro fog, remembering anything is difficult. And even though I spent like the last year saying that list, let's see how much I can actually physically remember, like Bon Dia, Dia Guit, Labrit, Ahanua Seo. Uh, Jean Dobre and then um, Buenos Dias Taro Homocost uh, Boreda Matanva Yoregelt uh, Bokertov Bongerno Buna de Minata Ohio Nihau Priviet Agudentag Kalimera uh, bonjour, La Bas Ritas, Dab Dien, Miss Old Haley, uh, Merhaba, and of course go forth and have the crack. Now all I have to do is go back and actually watch one of my other videos and write the things down, but that's, that's difficult. That's tough watching my stuff. I mean even the stuff that I do like two days ago I, I consider painful to watch, so. Yay! Even though I've done almost 3,000 videos by now, even though I have over 1,000 Let's Play game videos, you know, it's... what can I say? I've got a lot of material. Really, I do. Over almost 3,000 videos in the back catalog. So, yay! <coughs> well, the last thing I'm going to say is, if you could check out some of the links, that would be awesome. Uh, down below there in the show more section uh, if you could toss me a like that would be awesome I do prefer positive validation for my existence and if you could subscribe but only if you're ready it uh, pity subscriptions please no need if they don't help me they don't help you and it doesn't help anybody at all so but if you're ready for it and you subscribe then thumbs up glad to have you hope to keep you forever and ever and ever so hey uh, 17 minutes, 52 seconds. I'm actually going to call this one. I don't have anything more to say. i got to hurry up and get my stuff done so when my friends come by, we can head off hiking. So you take care. Have a great day today. And I will see you on the flip side. And that, my friend, is a very good thing. So you take care. <laughs>